All right, in this video, I'm going to discuss doing the top view of the, um, pen, uh, the hexagonal prism. And um, yeah, I've just got my little eagle over here and you can see he's looking down and he is seeing that cutting plane, which means that the top part of this thing, in fact, eight, nine, 10 and seven, uh, they've all been removed from this whole thing and the lines going down to the, where the cutting plane so that part has been removed. Uh, there's the cutting plane. What we do still need to draw is the, um, the bottom part of this. So I need to have 11 and 12, 5, 6, 1, 4, and 3, 2 drawn over here. All right. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the points of 12 and 11 to this drawing over here, the top view over here. I'm going to take the distance from the xy axis to 11, come over here, find 11, go down to the new xy axis and place that over there and mark that off as 11. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find 12. I'm going to come over here, find 12, go down to the new xy axis, mark that off and there is 12. Right. Okay, straight away I can say, well, my eagle can fly down and can see this line going from F to 12, and it can see the line going from E to 11. So I can draw those two lines in straight away. There it is. Whoops, really has got a dent in it. And from E to 11. And I can draw that in. Note that hasn't been hatched. Why? Because, well, the cutting plane is not there. Okay. Once I've got that, I can then say, well, these are point views of these lines. I discussed that just the other day about point view. If I've got a point view, then the line that I've got going from, say, uh, 12 going down to 6 is going to be parallel to the xy axis over here. So 12 going down to 6 now, uh, where is 6? There it is, 12, going down to 6. Let's drop a line going straight down from 6 over here. And I can then draw a line coming across from 12 to where 6 is. Now, is that line going to be drawn as a solid line or is it hidden detail? Well, if you look at it, my, my eagle is having to look through something. Therefore, it cannot be a solid line. 12 going to 6, which is at that point over there, there's 6 dropping down, and the line going from 12 to 6, we said, was parallel to the x, y axis, and I can now draw that as hidden detail going across to 12. Same story, 11 going down to 5, there's 11 and 5 as a point view, therefore 11 going across to 5 is going to be hidden detail as, as well. Right? And I obviously have a line going between 5 and 6, which is also going to be hidden detail. All right, let's take a look at, say, um, A going down to 1. There's A and 1. All right, A and 1 are in line with each other. Where is 1? There is 1 over there. I'm going to drop a line coming down from 1, and it links up with the line coming across from A. That is an edge, so it must be done as a dark line. Um, let's have a look at number 4 and D. 4 and D is a point view over here. Take a line coming across from D. Take a line coming down from 4. 4 and D, point view, therefore parallel to the x, y axis in this view. Okay, um, let's have, take a look at... Uh, uh, B and 2. There's 2. Drop a line down from 2. Take a line coming across from B. Parallel to the x, y axis. And that is 2 over there. C going down to 3. C and 3, a point view over there. There's 3. Drop a line down. Take a line coming across from C to 3. There we go. Okay, and I, let's just label that. That was one over there. That was four over there. Is that right? Yep, four. 
and I can now join one to two, that's an edge, two to three, three to four, and then I want you to think very carefully about my little eagle looking down. He is unable to see the line going from four going down to five. It's looking through something. So that four to five needs to be done as hidden detail. So there we go. And the same story for one going to six. One going to six, same story. It's at the very bottom over here. Eagle can't see it, therefore it's hidden detail over there. Right, that is the top view completed. The next video I will do the right view over here.